Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k run of the Insight Terminus Nightfall. Doing it on Hunter, top tree to subclass. I'm using all various rigs to try and get some super back. Uh, weapons and armor are on the screen for you to peruse. Uh, I didn't put a lot of mods on, so you guys can maybe add ordnance mods or whatever it is you need to maybe get uh, grenades back and stuff like that. We've got a 3.7 score multiplier, which is achieved with a 210 power handicap. Arc Sench, Heavyweight, Momentum, and Match Game. So, I figured, I was looking at the 200k from Tuesday onwards, and with the right modifiers and the right weapons, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably doable. Uh, I, have, I have actually seen someone's done a run on Inverted Spire, big shout out to Esoteric. But the weapons he's using, I, I kind of had a look at Hard Light uh, on Tuesday, and it just... It's not stable enough on console. It's in fact it's a nightmare on console. So I looked at the Borealis as well. I, I've used the Borealis for multi-shielded nightfalls before, but I kind of figure I'll just forget for a guide. I'll just wait until the right nightfalls come along. The ones that I wouldn't say easiest, but just lend themselves to 200k. Garden World was one of those, although it was difficult. It lent itself to a 200k. So plus people still need 100k's, right? So. I mean, now that 200k is out, I'm like, you know, acting like 100k is like, uh, it's, it's nothing. It's, it's a solo 100k nightfall, guys. <laughs> you know, it's still, it's, it's still a difficult run. Uh, and, and people are still needing the rewards, still needing the, the, the triumphs. And you get a pretty good sniper from this. There's uh, is it a long good night. I can't remember what it's called. I actually dropped one in this video. So... It's 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 a pretty good it's a pretty good sniper. So for guys that are looking to do that, guys and girls that are looking to do that, then this run is still relevant. So when you come into this night forge, you could see the first area I went round the back of the rock. You sometimes will have a minotaur over the other side just before you get there. Just take it out with your your heavy, and then you can do exactly what I've done in the video. Uh, you can go up top uh, behind the rock and just clear all the ads up top. When you get to this area, I, sm I put a smoke grenade on, on the Cabal that were waiting there and finished them with the primary, just trying to get some, some heavy. But you can actually, just as you can see, I'm just mapping them with with the, the hammerhead. My hammerhead has rampage on it, which is the reason why I chose it. Be careful, as you'll see here, be careful about poking your head out when, when, when that arc-shielded centurion is, is, is looking at you. Because... Uh, he, he, we're not set up for arc, so we're not actually going to engage him. We we want to poke out left and right and try and clear the ads so that we can come up here, no hassle at all, run behind this rock, dodge reload, have the weapon out that you need reloaded, if at all need reloaded. And I, I tried this run a few times, just messing about with it. And that was the first time he caught me with that attack. And this is the first time this has happened as well. All the ads teleporting up. That's the shotgun's going to serve a, a few different uh, uh, needs. It's going to it's going to fulfil a few needs. One of them, arc shielded centurions in the centre room, the room that we're just going to, and running and gunning. Uh, a solar fusion rifle will do the same thing if it's decent charge rate. That's what you're looking for. So when you get to this plate, you want to wait for Cargan to do his heavy attack. Uh, sometimes dogs and centurions will teleport. It doesn't happen very often. But if you tether, if you get onto the plate, wait for it to turn white, then wait for this barrier to come up and then tether, you'll capture both waves of ads pretty easily. And as you can see, you'll get your super back. So I always like to throw a grenade, uh, take out ads without using my heavy. It's, it's, it's a thing within me. Switch weapons to get more heavy. Anything that the tether kills won't count as a heavy kill. So it can also, if you if you kill one enemy with heavy, and the tether kills the rest of them, you can drop heavy from 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 the tether kills. Now, heavy is going to play a big role in this run. This run would have been at least two to three minutes faster had I have not run out of heavy at the boss. Now, that that in itself was an issue. But it gave me a chance. It gave me a chance to to actually look at the mechanics to see when we ads come. Ads are linked, obviously, to his health. 
normally with bosses like that they are but there is a big section where you don't get ads and you'll see that in the video and that's why I, I didn't get heavy for so long so this wanted enemies worth points and he's annoying because he kind of sticks about and fires at you from range and his attacks are pretty powerful so I, I like to take him out because I've got rampage proc I've got heavy up here so I'm going back up for the heavy because I've got rampage I just kill a couple of ads, get Rampage times 3, and it's a, it is a very noticeable damage increase once you've got Rampage propped. The reason I'm using the Bygones is A, it's masterworked, so orbs are points. Not many points, but it's still more points. And it's got Rampage. So what I do is I come up by this teleport on the right. If you just go past the teleport to where I did, you'll activate the boss. And I come over here. Boss is going to drop right in the circle in front of us. I'm going to smoke and grenade him. I'm going to take his shield down and put some shots on with the Ikelos, as you can see. I'm going to switch to heavy and just keep moving. Just There you go. Keep moving while you're focus firing him. Then I go down here. As soon as I see my health coming back, I turn, tether this bunch of adds and take out the elite, which takes the rest of them that I tether with them. I keep the heavy out, as you can now, I like to take a side out. That's why I came over here. I like to take one side out because there are four different attacks you can deal with in this room. You've got the snipers. You've got the cabal and the kind of void, uh, sorry, arc kind of shot, shotgun, kind of heavy attack. Then you've got the, the they can fire those kind of grenades, which if you're not careful can stick to you. And then you've got the, the centurion who has a, a really heavy void attack that's why i'm not you, there's no stand here and you'll be fine momentum is only really good for nightfalls like this where there's a lot of ads that will push you i find that the ads are really aggressive within this strike and you can move to a new area get your health back move to a new area and then deal with the ads from the new area so now we're going to clear this area up here you always have like four or five, five ads normally. I always go to the side, the opposite side from where I need to dunk or where, where I need to insert the orb. Because the ads normally, especially the three kind of, the three normal cabal, not the, the, the gladiators, they will always be at the, at the, the, the place you need to insert your, your, uh, your orb. So, distance is safety at times so that's what i like to promote so once i've done that i come over here kill the ads as soon as they come out the portal and then start working on ads in the center now i am using my primary try to get rampage propped and try to get some heavy to drop now they will the the ads in this strike as much as being aggressive they move a lot i mean they're constantly on the move now that I've, I've whittled the numbers down, now they're pushing away. That's another thing you'll see happen. It's not the first thing. It won't be the last time you see that happen in the strike. So, tether, put a grenade. I want to break the shield of the Centurion. That kills everything else that's he's tethered. And before he can do anything, we'll kill him. And there you go. Now what we're going to do, we're not going to pick that orb up. We're going to make sure... Because there's still a lot of ads in this room. A lot more than I actually paid. You know, I didn't think there was that many ads left, actually. I've got some heavy in the center. Note to self, go back to the center for your heavy. So I'm going to go through here, and then I realize a lot of ads there. So now what I've decided, because the ads are aggressive, I've seen I've got more ads up the top here. Now, because, because I was forced into that situation... It gave me a chance to cut, you know, this gives me a chance to prove what I said earlier. This is the side I'm going to have to dunk. And the the three cabal, the three normal cabal, were standing at the place where you've got to dunk your orb. The two butchers, they kind of go sightseeing, they, they run about all over the place. But the three normal cabal, they won't. They'll stay by where you need to uh, insert the orb. So now I've come over here, I've cleared out all the ads. I've come over here, now the ads will come to me. So, again, range is safety. And I've set myself up for range, which, you know, 
that there isn't many ads left. I think there's only like two or three ads left. Once you start whittling down the numbers, they're not so, you know, it's like a self-preservation thing. They're not so interested in pushing you because, you know, it's like, it's like the only thing that will stop a shark from coming into the area is if it senses another shark's blood. It scares the, literally scares the living daylights out of a shark. It's kind of the same with the cabal. If they see loads of cabal bodies, it might be the same for most ads, to be fair, but it's more noticeable with the, the cabal. They do that thing where they want to jump. It's almost like they're scared they want to jump, but they just jump up in the air and back down. They don't push so much once you've wiped out, you know, the the larger percentage of them. So no more ads apart from the, there is that, that cabal that fires the arc kind of shots is dropped in the center. We're not set up for arc and... For the amount of points he gives, I'd rather just move on to the next part. So we're going to take down, slam the last orb, take down the the the, the Minotaur, the broken Minotaur shield because it's void, and then we'll push past the adds, turn around with our primary, and just once you get that rampage procced, it's 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 it, you know makes light work of the adds, and then now uh, we're just going to make it to the boss. Now I do have an issue at the boss that I've I've spoke about that I ran out of heavy. So this run would have been a lot faster had I've had heavy for the boss because machine guns, not so great for boss damage. Although with rampage, the times through rampage, it, it, it does okay. But uh, I I want to ask you guys what you think about the term dad weapons and dad loadouts. What what does that even mean? I I I seen it the other day and I was like I've I've heard it before but I didn't realize. It's, it references like pulse rifles and machine guns and stuff. If you use that, it's a dad loadout. Is that is that a PvP thing? I mean, I think it re I think it's PVE as well. But is that PvP players talking about that stuff? Ridiculous. Use the best weapon for the job. Forget about what people people who like to stick labels on things are normally not the type of people that you want to be. You know paying any attention to them so when you get here make sure you're reloaded you'll have your tether when you see the ads coming tether right there and you should capture all the ads all this first wave of ads i think we miss one because yep because uh the, the, it, it was our elite dog and although the bygones is good it it it's good for range and it's good for good for you know controlling, but it you know it's not going to take everything down really quickly. So as you can see, we haven't got we haven't got a uh, rampage propped. So I'm going to dodge, reload, crouch back down here. This is a great place to attack from, you know, until the ads come. But once you get rampage propped, as you can see, it does a lot more damage as you would expect because. Well, that's what the perk does. But having one of these, uh, having a hammerhead with uh, rampage, it's it's really, I've I've bend, I I've, I've broke down a ton of these that don't have rampage. I just even feeding frenzy, feeding frenzy is is okay, but if it doesn't have rampage, I'm not really interested, because the hammerhead. It's really good for gambit, but I don't. I just. I just don't rate it as a weapon. So we've got to the point now where we're activating the plates. I've got tons of heavy in the center now. What I'm trying to do is just move to the place that's furthest away from the ads. So I. I, I chose this first plate, and it's not furthest away, but the place where they've got to run straight to me. There's none of this dodging around the back of plates. You know, the place that's furthest away from all the ads that they would have to come straight at me. So we got we got rid of all them with the tether. Now we've got the dogs. And now I've got the plate activated. I backed away slightly. Now as you can see, and this is probably where the issue came from. It's nothing to do with the game. It's to do with the fact that, you know, I needed to take out larger waves of ads faster. You know? So, no, make sure you're looking at the portals for these guys, but 
Yep, you've got to be aware of what's coming in front of you as well. And we've just managed to activate the plate. So now we're going to move. This is where this this is where the the issue is. So we're going to tether. These ads are going to run in. This is where my issue was. And you'll see we're, we're still doing this. Still using more heavy. Because we had to. You know. And I can't really say too much. As you can see I'm trying to switch now. If I'd have put a hand cannon on. I probably would have been cleared those ads faster. We've got dogs coming at us. I'm hoping, hoping to try and get some heavy. But didn't happen. With that, you just seen there those void shots. That tells me that I've I've uh I've activated the boss again. So we'll get back up here, try and get some rampage going. I only had times one, but it's better than no times. And as you can see now I've got forty rounds. And all the ads are out. So now what it's about. It's a different game now. Now what it's about is clearing these these ads. You know we're still getting some points from them. Clearing these ads. Try and get with Taylor back. And get some heavy. And there's still dogs up. Now. At this juncture. We've got with Taylor. So we can clear out a bigger wave of ads. And hopefully share some damage to him. So we've tethered them. Unfortunately, there's void shields. So that I don't know if if it, if how it looked on you know to you guys, but the unfortunate thing that happened there was because I was running, gunning, trying to get shots off, and I actually shot him. And I'm not sure if that's the way to do that. I shot him, and he shared the damage. But I don't know if he took. He probably did just take it back, you know. But ideally, you want to shoot the ads to share the damage, you know. I think that's the way it works. Shoot the ads, and that shares damage to him. But if you shoot him, that you know, it's less. It's less that's coming back to him because you know the tether shares the damage between everybody that's tethered. Now, until you get heavy, which is it's all I can say. You can't just run up to the boss and shotgun him because his ground attack is, is ridiculous. And it's his area of effect is, is ridiculous. And we've only got 11 rounds here. So we at least need to try and take down... Uh, uh, put some on him until this happens. That's That's what we're waiting for right now. Until we can get heavy, that's what I wanted. Share all that damage, kill the ads, and share the damage to him. So, we're, for the next couple of minutes, basically this is what we're going to be doing. Until we get heavy, uh, we need to... This is what I was starting to say earlier, but I, I thought it was going to happen before that. It was about sharing the damage. We had to at least try and take down that void shield, but he never appeared on screen. So, I was like, we had to... Uh, we had, where is he? <laughs> I had to keep those those rounds because I knew there was another Void Shield. And it's bad enough that Kurgan, or Kargan is going to be chasing us around the map. We don't need uh, Void Shielded and Cinders and Cinditors or whatever they're called. I always get their name wrong. Uh, we don't need them running about. So all you can do now is keep, keep the boss in your eye lane. And I am going to attack him with a shotgun. I know I've said you shouldn't. You shouldn't. But if you can get him in a position where you can shoot from, like like you're going to see here, a little bit of cover. If he goes to do his crown, ground attack, I can just go back around there. See what I'm saying? Until the next wave of ads. That's what we're doing. We're killing time until the next wave of ads comes out. And, and this boss is... It's a real bad combination. He's tanky, he's fast, he's mobile, and his ground attack is ridiculous. I mean, it's... So, I don't have a problem... See that? That's rid has a ridiculous ground attack, and it puts you off wanting to attack him again, right? 
So what we're going to do, because time's running on, we've been at this a couple of minutes, no heavy. So I'm going to use my super. Because the super will incapacitate him. Makes him vulnerable. Now we can shotgun him. Now, whenever you're shotgunning, especially with a, a weapon with the rate of fire of the Ikelos, uh, go, go for crits. Shotguns do have crit points. Aim for the head. Uh, Thanos style. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just make it round the map. Be, you know, making sure that we're, we're staying safe. Using dodge. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna go unless I've got, I'm not gonna attack ads unless I've got dodge, unless I can go invisible and save myself if I need to. I don't really want to get myself into positions where I've got to save myself, but uh, because the boss is so mobile, he will chase you if you, if you get in his his rotation, because I think he rotates and I think it's predictable, but it's neither here nor there because. We dodge, get our invisibility, and it, we just got heavy. And that's all we were waiting for, was one brick of heavy. Now, we will get where we'll get back into a position, a position that we can attack from, and we'll proc some a rampage. We'll try and get rampage up, and then finish the boss. We would have finished, as, as I've said, we would have finished it a lot easier if we'd have had heavy. And that could have been... We could have solved an issue, actually, by having... Machine Gun Scavenger. I don't have Machine Gun Scavenger on this character. But I wouldn't have needed to pick up all the bricks. So that's something to think about. And as you can see here, I do get the sniper. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I probably am not going to be able to get a 200k out this week. I'll probably wait to make a guide when it's, when it's a more predictable path to 200k. Without needing this or doing this or doing that. But I probably will have another look at it over the weekend. And I'll try and get another 100k out as well this week. So you guys aren't waiting too long for content. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And until next time, take it easy.